Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Britt and if you haven't subscribed yet you probably should because I talk about geeky things and today is the day we've all been waiting for. Actually yesterday was the day we've all been waiting for if you were at San Diego Comic Con, which I am not. Uh, but Austin St. John was. <laughs> they announced something pretty great. There have been rumors of it for months now that he was going to return to the Power Rangers franchise in the season two of Beast Morphers, but I wasn't getting excited until there was an official announcement from either Hasbro or Austin St. John himself or Power Rangers as a franchise. And today we have that announcement. So let's sit down and watch the trailer. The Rangers are doomed. Everyone in the city is in danger. I do like Beast Morphers a lot. That Enix has never seen. Your robot so, form is ready. Just realize this is probably go. Beast power. Ha! It's time to send these guys flying. Let's go. Ha! 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 Go! Go! Go, go, Power Rangers! Where's Jason? <laughs> Watch him not even be in the trailer. Where's Jason? Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. New Zords. That's expected. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm crying. <gasps> ah! Okay, um, so my thoughts on all of this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually crying. Okay, uh, yeah, so I, I'm at a loss for words because I'm very excited about this. So I have never made it much of a mystery on my channel uh, that I am obsessed with Jason. Like, he's my favorite character in all of Power Rangers. He may not, as you're gonna find out, he may not be my favorite in certain aspects, but like, he's everything to me. Like, I love Jason. At one point when I was seven years old, I was convinced I was going to marry Austin St. John. Obviously, I don't believe that now. Um, obviously. But like, I love, uh, Jason. And when he left, I cried for weeks. Like, I was devastated. I remember at one time, which looking back, the logic really doesn't make a lot of sense, but like, I remember thinking, I remember saying um, that they're gonna forget all about Rocky like they forgot all about Rita. <laughs> I get the logic issue there because of the fact that obviously like Rita was the one that left and Zed replaced her and Jason's the one that left and Rocky replaced him. Um, I have this like running gag with myself and my friends and my family that I hate Rocky. I don't actually hate Rocky, but you'll see that in the video coming up soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I don't get excited until there's an official announcement. I don't like gossipy things. I still read gossipy things. You know, when they're like, a source close to the thing says this, this is gonna happen. I don't get excited about it until um, an official announcement happens. So that's why I haven't said anything. That's why I haven't really, like, I mean, I, I guess I've maybe I've said stuff on Twitter, but like I've not, again, I, I frame it in such a way that I'm like, what's well, still just a rumor if this happens to be cool. Um, I don't necessarily believe that any of it happens until there is an official announcement. Um, so I'm very, very excited. Um, obviously we knew that there was some kind of team up because there have been actors found on set and there have been putties on set. Um, so obviously I knew that it was probably going to happen, but I wasn't going to say anything until there was an official announcement. And I am so excited. Ugh, I cannot wait. But yeah, so it's really cool. And I know because I follow some Power Rangers on Twitter. I don't follow every Power Ranger on Twitter because that would just be way too many to follow. Um, but the people that really stand out to me as good actors or the ones that I really liked the characters I follow them and I follow Kevin Duhani who played Ethan and he at one point Posted this really hilarious kind of trolley tweet About who's appearing in Beast Morphers and obviously you saw the blue Dino Thunder Power Ranger there So I don't know if he'll be shown unmorphed um, I would like to believe that they at least brought him into the studio for some voiceover work but even Disney didn't do that. When they did the team up with Dino Thunder and SPD, the second one, 
they did, uh, where <laughs> uh, the guy who played Trent had to do the voice for Tommy. So but it'd be good to see. I saw Billy was there. I saw Kimberly was there. Um, again, we don't know if they're going to be unmorphed, but it'd be pretty cool if they were, or at least brought into the studio to do the voiceover work for that stuff. Yeah, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see what Jason is going to bring to the team. I'm excited to see how long he's going to be part of it, like how many episodes he'll be in. Um, it'll be very exciting to see. He looks great. I am so excited. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to turn my screen recording back on here. Let's actually kind of like go through it a little bit. So a dangerous threat, obviously. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what more of a dangerous threat we have if Evox is going to evolve or if there's something else going to join forces with him. You know, obviously what they're doing is they're taking part in the uh, movie that we never got that came out during um, the Sentai for what became Dino Charge with the big team up of all the dinosaur rangers with Shiju Ranger, Abba Ranger, and I cannot remember the Sentai name for Ch Dino Charge. I don't, I haven't memorized all of the Sentai names. It can't be that villain because it, that villain was actually used in season two of Dino Charge. They just used American footage instead of the Sentai footage for him. And I caught on to it really quickly because I didn't know much about the movie, but I remember seeing that character and going, why does he look like Zeltrax from Dino Thunder? And that is exactly what it was, was I think like a rebuild of that uh, cyborg or whatever. And it really actually was just supposed to be Zeltrax. Well, well, the Sentai counterpart of Zeltrax. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. So I know it probably can't be that villain because we've already used that villain. And I doubt that they would bring that kind of a villain back. So I don't know. But so we'll see. So the final battle begins. Obviously we're building up to the finale for Beast Morphers um, in season two. And that's exciting. Well, I mean, obviously this must be for season one just because then it says, and then next season, because obviously we haven't finished season one yet. And so we'll jump into the and next season. Um, so obviously we get new Zords, which doesn't surprise me because generally, um, obviously it's become kind of a theme to get new Zords as time kind of goes on to get aux auxiliary Zords. It's fun to see like this, what is it, like a lion it looks like? Um, an epic team up. So let's take a look at who we see here. So here we have Ethan, and then here we have uh, Chase, here we have Billy, here we have Coda, here we have Kimberly, and then here we have Ivan. From what I understand, we have seen James, we have seen Yoshi, and we have seen Davey on set um, of Beast Morphers. So that's actually kind of exciting to think then that since this cast seems to be pretty small. It's not everybody. So what I'm saying is like, we don't see Kira. We don't see Connor. We don't see the rest. We don't see, you know, the other seven Rangers from, um, Dino Charge. And we don't see, um, the Yellow Ranger, which obviously would have to be Aisha at this point. We don't see Tommy. We don't see Zach or Adam. So it's interesting to think that they would have these three on set, the Dino Charge Rangers. I mean, obviously it makes sense for James because he's from Auckland. So it's not like it's that difficult to get him there, but it'd be strange for them to have half of these Rangers that we're seeing right now and Jason there without also having Ethan, Billy and Kimberly there. And it's strange also that they only use one Dino Thunder Power Ranger. I mean, granted, there's only five of them, uh, but there's only six of the Mighty Morphin. Uh, I mean, more if you count the switch outs with um, Rocky, Adam, Aisha, and then of course, Catherine. But it's strange that we only really see one Dino Thunder Power Ranger. So my, my guess, because I don't know what was announced at S SDCC, I do not know what was guessed or what was announced there. Somebody on Twitter, the reason I even saw this was one, Austin St. John posted about it, but also I saw like this shot or the shot closer to um, Ethan and somebody tweeted that picture to the guy who plays Ethan and said, what do you have to say about this? Because he's been kind of, like I said, trolling the fandom about this whole team up and he just kind of made a snide remark. So obviously it hasn't necessarily been announced who else was there. I think it's just been announced that Austin St. John is going to be in it. Though, I mean, the we like I said, we've seen the Dino Charge Power Rangers on set, so it wouldn't surprise me. But it'd be interesting to see who else is going to be a part of this because, like I said, who's going to be unmorphed? Because I, I, I don't know, like it's strange that, I don't know. 
so it'll be interesting to see what what moves forward so now that we know essentially which rangers i mean there could be more rangers but now that we know more rangers that are part of it now it'll be interesting to see who will be unmorphed and who will not be unmorphed. Because obviously, like, when it came to the 20th anniversary special, we had every Power Ranger. When actually we just had the suits and... There's a whole video on my channel describing how I hate that scene, but... Anyway, go check it out if you would like. But yeah, and so with this few Rangers, if, the, if this is the team, if this is the team that we have, then my guess would be everybody will be unmorphed. Which would be pretty amazing. And I'm very excited because I was interested in that movie, the Sentai movie, and I was really disappointed when I found out we weren't going to have it. So I'm, I'm excited to see what this brings. I'm very excited to see um, going forward what's going to happen. I I'm really excited to see what's going to build up. You know, this is Hasbro's kind of first run at it, even though Saban is still technically involved. But this is still Hasbro's first kind of run at it, so I'm excited to see. I'm also really happy because I feel like we don't get a lot of really great team-ups anymore because we obviously used to have this season, this season, they team up. You know, Lightspeed Rescue went on to team up with Time Force and Time Force teamed up with Wild Force. And um, when Disney took over, we, we really stopped having those team-ups. And not only that, but I feel like we've been so gypped with the 20th anniversary special. Um, the 25th was pretty good. I, I didn't hate it. I felt like it wasn't they didn't utilize all the characters like they could have. It'd been better to have less rangers come back for that. That's my only real gripe with tw with the 25th is have less rangers come back so you can integrate them more into the story. Because I feel like some of them really got gypped on the story. It was like they got flown out there just to like morph, which just wasn't at all worth it. But I'm excited to see where this one will go. And if we're seriously only going to have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rangers come back i mean that's only just three less than what we had for the 25th so i think we had 10 rangers come back for the 25th i would like to make sure that these guys are at least integrated well into the story it'll be interesting to see because this will be a good indication at least the beginnings of an indication of what we'll look at what we'll look like for the 30th anniversary because obviously it's it's just how it works disney got on board only after one anniversary team up they got on board and then obviously um, Saban got to do two more team ups for anniversary specials. And uh, this will be a good indication of how Hasbro will handle a veteran New Ranger team up, which I feel like Saban just did very, very poorly in a lot of situations. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I also like just woke up. Like I woke up to this news. I was laying in bed, scrolling through Twitter and saw this. I was like, <gasps> must be get up, must get dressed, must put makeup on, must do video. Which is funny because like this is supposed to be like a week I'm supposed to be taking off from doing YouTube videos, but it's fine. I've already recorded another video and I just can't stay away. Um, so this is exciting to me. This is very exciting to me. I cannot wait for this team up. And yet we still have to wait for a long, long time. Um, which makes me very sad, but I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Like I said, so with this few, I'm guessing everybody's gonna be unmorphed, which is gonna be really exciting. So the question now remains, because obviously we know this is Ethan, we know this is Chase, we know this is Billy, we know this is Coda, we know this is Ivan, but is it Kimberly or is it Catherine? Um, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be Kimberly. Uh, they, we haven't had Kimberly come back since she left. I mean, technically she's come back um, for the 20th anniversary special, but again, she was never unmorphed, never even had a line. So Amy Jo Johnson has not been back since she left the show. So it'd be fun to have her come back. Um, I think that would be really, really fun. So it'll be interesting to see what we have going forward. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking about. There are some other rumors that I've seen. One that was started by an actor who played a character on the show during the Zordon era. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to like spoil too much. But like saying that maybe this character will come back too. I would hope not. I hope, but I also hope not because, I don't know, long, it's a long drawn out thing. If you guys would like me to do kind of a spoilery uh, discussion about that particular post, uh, I think I can probably find it. It was on Instagram. Um, so I think I can probably find it. But if you guys would like me, excuse yourself, Zordon. Uh, but if you guys would like me to do kind of an in-depth discussion on my feelings about that particular thing, let me know in the comments below. I am just excited. I am very excited this has officially been announced, so now I can finally feel like I can get excited about it because I wasn't going to get excited about it only to find out that it wasn't actually going to happen. Um, so I'm very excited 
that this has officially been announced. I cannot wait for Jason to come back. I have been dreaming of the day that, that Jason came back to Power Rangers again. I've, always, I've talked about my channel before how I actually told the future because when I cried for weeks and then I stopped crying for weeks and I and my, my mom at one point asked me why I seemed to be over it or how I got over it and um, I said because he's gonna come back and she goes sweetheart he's not coming back no 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 mom he's gonna come back I had made up the gold and silver ranger because I was gonna be the gold ranger and my sister was gonna be the silver ranger because I knew my parents would never let me be a power ranger by myself <sighs> I made those two rangers up and I got so angry Actually, no. So, and I know I came up with this before the Mighty Morphin movie came out because I remember when Fred, at the end of that movie, said, I'm going to be the Gold Ranger. I said, no, you're not going to be the Gold Ranger. Jason is going to be the Gold Ranger. And lo and behold, <laughs> Jason got to be the Gold Ranger. And then the whole reason I even got back into Power Rangers when I was in high school was because uh, I found out that Jason was coming back for Forever Red. And so I watched all of Wild Four so I didn't miss out on Jason coming back as uh, the Red Ranger. And so since then, he's not been part of the franchise since then, mostly because he was off actually saving people in real life as a paramedic, and he, you know, was, was part of the army doing medic stuff there. And so he was saving people in real life. But now that he's back and back part of the franchise by doing conventions and things like that, and now he's back. And I'm very, very excited about it. So it's been a long time and I and I cannot wait to see where the story is going to take us and I cannot wait to see what uh, what the buildup is to it because I'm excited to see what Hasbro is going to do with it. Um, like I said, even though Savon's still technically involved um, to an extent, I, uh, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping and praying that this team up is amazing and that this will give us a clear a better idea of what of how Hasbro is going to handle veteran rangers coming back because uh, like I said Savon has been very bad at it so um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this announcement what do you guys think about all of this um, who was your favorite Power Ranger growing up I'd love to know those things in the comments below and I will see you guys all on Thursday with an actual video <laughs> bye <laughs>